Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to have separate bandwidth for each SSID. So this is useful if you have a guest Wi-Fi and you want to ensure that your guest users don't utilize all your available bandwidth. So the first thing that you need to do is ensure that your router is fully functional. So your router should um, be working, it should have the Wi-Fi configured already. Uh, in your firewall it should be knotted depending on your setup but your router should be working as is if not you can check my getting started video and that video will show you how to get your router ready so we're going to move on to the first step the first step is to create a virtual wireless interface so we're going to call this virtual interface guess and in wireless the SSID that we're going to use is guess so in my guess for the security profile we're going to create a separate security profile for this so we already have a default security profile and this is where you'd set your password for your default um, Wi-Fi so we're going to create another security profile for the guest for the guest um, network so guest profile dynamic wp2 and then we have put a password on it so we are going to go back to the interface and we're going to select for the security profile the guest profile so this is a password that this is a password that will um, be applied to the guest interface we're going to rename this interface so call this home and so there are two interfaces home and guest so the next step is is to set up guest so what you're going to do is to add an IP address to the guest interface So I'm going to give this a 60.1 slash 24 and select guess and then we apply that. The next step is we're going to go to our DHCP server. So already the home network is already a part of the existing network. So if we go into bridge, you'll see the bridge ports. The ports for this bridge is already um, the home network is already part of this network so we're not going to touch that we're just going to add we are just adding the guest network and then separating the bandwidth for both of them so we're going to click on DHCP setup go to guest next 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 if you want to change the DNS you can do it do that next if you want to change the lease, you can do that also. So you can change any of the settings to suit your need. I'm going to leave it as the default. So the DHCP server has been configured, but you you would have noticed that it is in red. And the reason why it is in red is because no one is currently connected to the interface. If you go into interfaces, realize that this interface is currently not active. No one is connected to it. So if you go in registration, no one is connected to the to the Wi-Fi. So don't worry about that. Next step is we're going to create some queues. So the first queue that we're going to create is for the home network. And the home network is 88. So this is the home network. So 192. That 168.88.0 slash 24. What this means is that it will apply this queue to the entire 88.88 network. So say for instance we have an upload of 5 and say a download of 10 for the home network. Okay. And then we're going to create one for guests. And guest network is 192.168.60.0 slash 24. This is for the entire guest network. So we're going to limit the guest and we're going to give guests one meg up. 
and say to make down okay we're gonna leave the queue we're not gonna change anything with the queue we're gonna just leave the default use the default settings so right now we have two queues so what i'm going to do is to connect to the guest network and then test and then test the the um each one of the queues so what i'm going to do now is to connect to the guest network and you notice the the DHCP server changes from red because now the interface is active so if you go into registration you'll see a device connected so if I I'm going to do a speed test from my device so I'm currently doing a speed test So the guess is no, not going any further than two. So I'm currently doing a speed test on guess. Then the next step, I'm going to do a speed test from the home network. So I'm going to connect to the home network now. So now I'm connected to the home network, but you notice the guest network changed back to red. That means it the interface is inactive. So that is okay. No need to worry about that. So I'm going to do a speed test. You see the traffic going through. So now you're seeing the traffic going through the home network and that is limited, limiting the traffic based on the queue um, rate that the, the limit that we have set. So everything is working perfectly. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not a subscriber, please remember to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to get notified when new videos are released. So thanks for watching.